We're gonna do a little throwing session and I don't know, we'll see how things go. I'm uh, out here at Gresham High School today. Um, got nice fall weather and uh, the temperature's not so bad. So sorry about the, the traffic noise. The traffic is just, I mean, it's you know, 50 feet from us. So unfortunately, it's going to be loud pretty much the entire time. But I you don't know. Hopefully, the throws go well. How you feeling, Sarah? How do you physically feel? Well, let me know if you need to like modify stuff today if it's bothering you. Okay, did you notice the the little lift? All right, so line it up, throw from that position. Don't lift it as you're throwing. Yeah, so that's a good spot to set up now. Lower that back leg so that your upper body now leans back without changing your arm position. Okay, yep, you still did it. It's that volleyball stuff. All right, so set up comfortable. Okay, you comfortable? Okay, so now lower your back leg a little bit. Just sit down on it. There you go. Okay, and then throw from there. I did it again! Yep. Okay, we'll just sit back a little bit and then throw up. Good. You did, but it wasn't as significant. Baby steps, right? It's not bad, Syra. Don't get frustrated. a little bit of that volleyball move there right so when you set up sit back here and immediately go from the back foot into your throw okay instead of sort of setting setting and then throwing right so sit back on it and go from here directly front foot and then deliver yep okay now sit back direct from there you did grab another one all right, so sit back and then pause, okay? Sit back, okay? So from here, okay, this arm's got to be extended across the body, okay? When that left arm drops down here, the right arm follows through, okay? I think you're starting off here, and then as you move on to that front foot, you kind of sit up, and then you deliver your throw. Get back here, look over your left shoulder, okay? Move on to the front foot and deliver through your throw. So get that. Good. It's better. Same thing. Okay, let's work on your crossover. So I just want to maintain the angles. Okay, so let's not make a crossover that's crazy big. Right? I just want you to maintain the angles. So if you're going to be here in that throwing angle, I want you to cross and maintain it. Okay? And to hold the position. Right? Rock back. Good. Good. Do it again. Land. Land with your right foot a little forward and keep your knee in front of you. <laughs> Let's look at it this way. I want your weight to be on your back leg the entire time. OK, 
Okay, so when you land, your weight's going to stay on your back leg. See how you drifted onto your front leg? Yeah. Okay, I want you to lift your left leg off the ground to maintain it. <laughs> you're just you're like giving up okay so these are called crossover pauses i want you to do multiples all right so all you're doing is crossing and getting your feet out in front of you so that you can maintain your balance okay so it's a cross and you're going to balance so cross balance cross and balance cross and balance <laughs> what I do is I try and get where my left leg is at. I get my, my uh, right leg to that spot and keep my, my uh, body balanced there, right? So I tap here and then replace the foot, yeah. right? Sarah's yes, you are. <laughs> you are plenty coordinated. You can do this. That's good. That's good. Instead of going so far this way, pop up this way. There you go. Yeah. Just pop up a little bit. Don't go don't let your body go so far forward. The idea is you're trying to keep your, your weight on the back foot. So if you go too far, you're gonna get too much forward momentum. It's gonna be hard to maintain the their your balance on the back foot. Okay? So stay back, pop up. That's it. Good. All you do is you just add a little bit more, right? A little bit, a little bit more, right? Good. Try and stay back. Oh, that's good. You're going to deliver up your right leg, up through your core, up through your shoulder and transfer into the throw, right? But if you transfer onto that front foot, then you miss out on all of what that right side can de can deliver for you. Yeah, keep your weight back, upper body back, and then that right leg winds, pulls everything through. Does that make sense? So from this right foot, I want everything to start moving into the throw so that I'm not over the top of this left leg so early. Stay behind it and transfer through. Right. So now do that with a crossover. Cross and balance, keep your weight back, and then deliver your throw. There you go. That's better. Yeah. How much time do we have left? Ooh. Cyra's a volleyball player, and so it's interesting to see you know, some of the habits that she has that she's throwing. It, it often looks like a looks like a volleyball serve, and uh, you know those are the types of things that are really difficult to break. Those habits, uh, because volleyball has a very repetitive motion. You know, they do the same thing over and over and over again, where a javelin thrower gets far fewer reps. So it often end up ends up being you know, a conflict when you're in both seasons or training for both at the same time. But, uh, you know, sometimes you have to kind of have to deal with it. So in this case, I have Cyra do a little bit more um, like simulated throws so she can get more reps without actually having to throw. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the session.